Thursday of the second week of Lent, a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's stable. Dogs, even, used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld, where he was interment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you a great chasm established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, O oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord Lying at his door The parable of Lazarus the poor man lying at Dives Gate illustrates that our attitude to our needy neighbor is our attitude to God himself. As John says, Whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. 1 John 4.20 Dives did not act harshly towards Lazarus. He simply turned a blind eye to him and ignored his needs. In a word, he closed his heart to him. Again, we are confronted by the words of John. If someone who has worldly means sees a brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? 1 John 3.17 What are my blind spots, and how can I open my heart's gate to the needy? Thank you.